this video we'll look at modifying the record information sidebar in a service operations workspace um, or as always in any configurable workspace um, so I'm talking about uh, we're, we're going to look at this sidebar here record information which shows uh, different information at different times depending on what um, state and uh, some other factors that the record is in um, before we uh, go into this, uh, because it, it will be quick, uh, I just want to say that I really like the direction ServiceNow is going with this. Uh, I think things like this, record information and the overview tab here, um, is great because it displays information, pertinent information at the right time uh, to the agent, um, as opposed to you know, a form which just splashes up a whole bunch of information that I, most of which I don't need and uh, and I will never change, you know, like description. I mean, it's, it's you know, once it's set in the beginning, it's uh, sort of doesn't need to be a big box anymore. Uh, so that's always been my gripe with um, workspace or what was before agent workspace uh, is that there's just a lot of wasted space. Uh, but now with this, you can really control um, how things are displayed and um, when they're displayed. So to really deliver that uh, right information at the right time. So, okay, that that uh, that comment aside, we'll go into uh, actually modifying this. Um, so like everything in uh, Workspace or almost everything, we head over to UI Builder and we go to the uh, record page. Well, we, we go to the Workspace, whatever we're in. And uh, we go to the record page. And if we go down here to the contextual sidebar, um, you can see all the different uh, viewports that point to the subpages uh, for each of these uh, contextual sidebar, uh, I don't know what you want to call them, uh, contextual sidebar sections. So in this case, we want <laughs> record information SNC. Uh, so we head in there, and there are, uh, so this is the record information tab, and uh, tab, maybe that's the word for it. And there are actually four variants. <laughs> so out of the box, there are three variants, and then I copied one. So the one we want to modify is uh, the, the base one, SNC. Uh, but you can't modify that because it's an SNC, it's an out of the box. So I went ahead and made a copy already to save a few seconds. <laughs> and so once you make the copy, you do the, you know, you do the usual duplicate on the, uh, on the variant. And then once you're in the duplicate, uh, now the sky's the limit. You can really, this is just a regular page, um, with components. So you can make any modification you want. Let's just change the label here and we'll save it. And then we will bump this up. Uh, so the condition of the SNC is 100, so we can make this zero. <coughs> so this page shows by default. And, you know, as always, if you only want this to show on the incident page, you just uh, change the conditions to, to do that. So now we go back to our incident uh, and we refresh it. And there we go. There's our modification. So um, this is really great because it's just components. It's just a bunch of components put together, and there are some events and some client scripts and whatever. So uh, there's a lot we can do here, a lot of potential here. It's uh, very exciting. 